What's up everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. And today we've got something that I've wanted to talk about for quite some time since my original video on the topic, my must buy triangle strategy video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. But now I'm like, I would say about 40 something hours plus beyond that. Plus I've got this bad boy that came in the mail as well. So I want to talk about the game and also go over this because this is a European exclusive special edition for Triangle Strategy. And right now at this point, I'd probably say Triangle Strategy is my game of the year front runner and also my favorite tactics game of all time. This game is absolutely incredible and that's no cap guys. I actually am just like drawn to this game. Anytime that I'm done with work, I go and play Triangle Strategy. There's been times where I have to wake up in the morning, but I play Triangle Strategy till like three or 4 a.m. I am completely addicted to Triangle Strategy, which is why I put almost 70 hours into the game and it hasn't even really been out for like two weeks plus yet. So that's unheard of for a game, for me at least, when it comes down to it. I actually dropped Elden Ring for this game. I'll get back to Elden Ring, but Triangle Strategy is just so good. The story is just one of the best stories that I have ever played in an RPG. It gave me Mass Effect vibes. Remember the original Mass Effect trilogy one through three, we're not counting Andromeda, but remember one through three and how impactful the decisions in that game felt? That's what this game feels like, but even worse sometimes when it comes down to it, man. So anyway, I'll let you guys play the game and you can check that out because the decisions in this game are crazy. So anyway, this just came in the mail, as you can see right here. And I think that this box art is really good if you've played it. The fact that they have the Rosellians on there is just so, 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 so good. I mean, I love this box art, you know? They just didn't take the normal characters that you have, like from the, like the back, Federica and Benedict and Roland. They didn't just take them and put them on the front or maybe even predictable like Gustadolf or Cordelia or whatever, the those two, uh, the brother and sister uh, twins. They actually put some other characters. They put uh, Savrog or Savrog or whatever his name is. They put the Rosellians and they put also um, Iridor or whatever his name is. So they kind of put some different characters on top of that with Serenoa on there. So very good so far. So let's take a look at this. Triangle Strategy Tacticians Limited Edition. You got to be a tactician to buy these since Nintendo of America does not want to make these here in the West. I mean, Nintendo of America, you got to start giving us some of these special editions. So... Let's see here. So here's the back of the box, which you guys can see right here. The back looks nice, has some nice screenshots, some information, and it tells you what you get in there. This is once again, the European version of the game, UK. I imported it from Amazon UK. So of course it's a slip case box. It doesn't come sealed in anything. So the box is a bit dented up, at least mine from there, but that's not too bad because that's not like the main thing that you're gonna be, you know, that you're gonna be displaying for the most part. I mean, it's not like a big deal, it's a slip box. And this is what you actually want protected. This is the actual box that comes sealed. Although there are a little bit of dents, but once again, it came from the UK. So it's not too bad overall. So let's see how this thing op opens up. Okay, so it opens up like a book, like a tomb that, you know, that for Federica be hitting people over the head with. Like, like the two that be hitting people over the head with, or she'd be like saying, I burned burn the heck out of people in the game. So it, it's definitely that. So let's see here. As soon as you open it up, okay, you got to open it up. I think it's open it up this way. Yeah, there you go. That's how you open it up because it's like the book is like this. So it comes and it just opens up just like that. So what you get here is that you get a huge steel case, first and foremost. So you get a steel case with the main uh, art on there. Hopefully that can, uh, to where you guys can focus just a little bit. So you get that, which is really cool. And then once you open it up, it actually doesn't have the game in there. It does not have the game in there. It just has the scales of conviction on there as well. And it has all of the characters. It looks like all of the characters, even the hidden ones, that uh, maybe you can't use or stuff like that. So it might be spoilers, but it'll be too small. You won't be able to see it. Um, or maybe you can get, maybe you can get, who knows? Uh, but yeah, really cool there. It says triangle strategy on the spine. So like if you're gonna put it in your collection or whatever the case is, you can have that there. So that's pretty cool. But here's the reason why the cartridge isn't in there because they actually give you a separate box of triangle strategy, physical edition, which I'll be honest guys, I did not know. <laughs> 
I did not know. I thought it actually just came inside there because there was one thing that I remember somebody saying, I think it was like the Shin Megami Tensei 5 Special Edition, which doesn't come with a regular box. It just comes like with the steel case. And people are like, oh man, I'd like to have both so I can display it on one and the other. And I was like, well, why would you need that? Well, this is why. Because now you can either do either or. They give you the regular special edition, which apparently other developers have done this too or other publishers have done this too. But that's cool. I like the fact that you get the box too with the game inside. They're sealed and you get the um, special edition case right here. The steel case. So that's good. I like that. So that's a good thing, right? It's not a bad thing. You get more. More for your buck. Um, and then it all comes inside this little thing that carries it. So that's that. And then from here, you actually have some pretty cool stuff as well. So... I like this, it looks like it's like a little poster. So yeah, it's like a little poster. Here's the box art for Triangle Strategy. So you have this art that some people said that they hated, it's too empty. I like it because it perfectly encapsulates what the game is about and what is going to be happening in this game. <laughs> it is a war battlefield and it's not good. And then you have, once again, all the different sprites of the characters that you could potentially use or fight against in the game. So not bad at all. Now let's go ahead and move on to this. This is some meat and potatoes right here. This is some heavy stuff. So it has like a little um, pouch, little coin pouch. And it actually has, oh my gosh, it has dice or die, should I say. It's a die. And they're all individually <laughs> this, is, this This tactician's edition goes in, bruh. This goes in. Individually wrapped die or dice, whatever, <laughs> die, plural, whatever. You guys correct me in the chat. And they all have the different uh, Roman numerals on there. So brush up on your Roman numerals out there and uh, your scales of conviction. And I think that this is what they do, I guess. Is this the die that they use or the chips that they use to put it in the scales of conviction? I'm not really sure. But the fact that they individually wrapped each one, that's like, oh dear, that's like overkill on that one. <laughs> That is a little bit overkill on that one, so I love that they did that. Attention to detail, boys and girls. Attention to detail. So, okay, okay. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Once again, I didn't know what was in there. I didn't have enough time. I just rushed to buy this because it's a European special or a European exclusive since, or European in Japan, and the U.S. didn't get it. So I didn't even really look. I just knew that. I always want to buy like Octopath Traveler, Bravely Default, all these Team Asano games, you should always buy the special editions because they're always going to be rare and sometimes they don't even come out in all the different regions and they're always going to be worth a lot more, you know, um, than what you bought it for. So it's always a good idea to buy it. So essentially this is what the bottom of the case looks like. Once again, we saw the, the front and this is just fantastic. I love the tomb. These are the cards and I think that I think they were giving away these cards um, at GameStop. I think GameStop might have got the cards as well. So I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I'm going to open. Oh, no. It's an actual. No, no, no. They did it. It's an actual playing deck <laughs> of cards of. Tri oh, my God. It's a playing deck of cards of triangle strategy. Once again, I didn't read it. So this is pretty cool to get like my genuine reaction of everything that you get. I did not pay attention just, just because I knew that I wanted it. But it's an actual, like, playing deck of the cards of Triangle Strategy. Like, this is the Ace and, of course, Benedict. I would love to see the other ones, but I don't want to open it. I just don't want to open this because it's just too cool. It's just, I want to buy a whole separate set. So whatever, if I ever need cards, 21, whatever the case is, I can just use that. But, yeah, this is really cool. Makes me want a Triangle Strategy board game. I think that would be kind of cool, too, right? There's been some dope board games and everything, so... Yeah, what a special edition. And to kind of go off of in terms of how I feel about the game, you know, I talked about it briefly at the beginning here, how it's like my game of the year at this point. And I'll give you guys a number of reasons why I feel this way, because once again, the story in this game, and I'm always a gameplay first guy, but this game has fantastic gameplay. If this game was called Final Fantasy Tactics 3 or whatever the case is, it would have got like a 90 average on Metacritic or something. It's only because it's a new IP, people don't know it as much, so they don't give it like that credibility. But the game has better gameplay to me than many of the other good tactics games out there. I like it more than Ogre Battle. I like it more than a lot of the Fire Emblem games out there. I like it more than Final Fantasy Tactics. I like it more than Mario plus Rabbids. This game has some fantastic gameplay and elements. And I think that one of the things that I like the most, which I've talked about in my previous video, but if you're new to this one, is that the encampment. 
it has a lot of quality of life stuff. So if you're playing the game on a harder difficulty, or even if there's something that you don't want to miss, like let's say there's like a merchant in town and you don't want to miss out on the special items that he has, which happens in a lot of these tactic games. There's certain places where you can get special items and you might not be able to get it if you don't have the money for it or anything. In this game, you can pull up the encampment at any time, go into it, talk to your teammates, go grind for levels, go grind for timber or for resources or for even money. So therefore you don't miss out on anything. Or even if you're fighting in a battle, a main battle, and you keep on getting beat, you actually retain your kudos points and also you retain your experience. So if you're stuck or if the enemies are just too hard, you'll level up and naturally be able to be better in that. So you combine that with the encampment and also this, plus with the kudos system, which just breeds a whole new level of playing smart, being able to get rewarded for your gameplay outside of, okay, yeah, I beat that. But the kudos system is great too, to where you can afford to get other things in the game when it comes to helping yourself out with the quietest system in there. So there's just so many different mechanics quality of life features, gameplay things in there that just puts Triangle Strategy on a platform, you know, by itself. Now, there's obviously other games. I love Fire Emblem Three Houses that I think is just as good or could be better in many people's eyes. But for me, I don't think I've been this addicted to a tactics game since Fire Emblem Three Houses. That was the last time that I've been this addicted to a tactics game. And there's so many good things in this game. And especially if you look at it from the decisions and the story, the story will just hit you right in the feels. It will hit you right in your heart with weighty, important decisions that can considerably end up in failure, right? Game overs. Like, it is just incredible what they've done with this story. So, I'm very happy with it. I think the game is fantastic. And for right now, like I said, it's my front runner. I need to get back into Elden Ring. And of course, we'll see what happens with Breath of the Wild and some of these other games. But for me, I'm not talking about the Kiwi Awards or anything else. I'm just talking about for me, it's definitely a front runner for me and my favorite tactics game or right up there tied. That's my favorite tactics game of all time. But what are your thoughts when it comes to triangle strategy, when it comes to the special edition of the game that I showed off? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell and we will see you for the next video. Peace.